coming in the guise of good. It comes in the guise of good. We talk about wolves in sheep's clothing. And I suppose this is what we're about to face as we see the coming rise of the Antichrist system in the world. And then the eventual man of sin himself. I've titled this Antichrist and the Counterfeit Kingdom of Cruelty. And I thought, first of all, about what the word cruelty really was all about. And what does it mean? I discovered a Hebrew word, perek, which means to fracture, to break apart with harshness. And we talk a lot now, don't we, about divide and conquer, about how the enemy gets in between us and starts to cause division. And of course, we're seeing that now in society, aren't we? Those who haven't had the procedure and those that have, we're starting to see the us and them arising up. And yet there's almost a sort of a a carelessness about it, isn't there, amongst governments, a mercilessness as to, um, to how people feel. They were interviewing, in fact, just to mention this, I was listening to a video yesterday where they were interviewing some people in Austria who at the moment are going through this fracture, this perec, this breaking apart of their society. And many of the people interviewed that had had the procedure were quite callous about the people that didn't have it. They didn't seem to care, really. They said, well, if that's their choice, then they must just stay at home and just be out of society. And I thought to myself, this is the splitting of society. This is the splitting of, of people causing one against another that Jesus spoke about, didn't he? He said that um, a father and mother would be against their own children and vice versa, and that a man's enemies would be those of his own household. Now we're starting to see that a man's enemies are certainly those of his own country. And these measures are inspired. And as I said the other day, there's a new spirit coming into the world. And it's being spearheaded by leaders. And I believe these men are cruel, cruel leaders. These are the men who fracture. These are the men who break apart people. And they speak of unity, but they're actually breaking people apart. Cruel leaders inspired by the order of the satanic kingdom. And that is the kingdom that rules as division. And we call it divide and conquer. To start with, I'd like to share some scriptures with you. 1 John 2 verse 18. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard, Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know it is the last time. But yes, there are many Antichrists. Yes, there are many that are coming in his name. And now we're starting to see them rise up. I believe that we can name them now. Men like Boris Johnson, Justin Trudeau, Joe Biden, and of course the people in the World Economic Forum that are their backers. And of course, men like George Soros, Bill Gates. Yes, why not make a list of these people? Let's note them. The way that Paul noted those that, that caused dissension in the church, these are the people that are causing dissension in the world. But remember here what it says, the Antichrist shall come. That man of sin is going to follow. He follows on the backs of these world leaders whose spirit has changed. 